Hey guys, how are you going? Today we're starting a laundry renovation. Um, this was brought on by an event with a washing machine. Um, washing machine was on spin cycle, it was going flat out, and then um, it malfunctioned somehow, and the whole thing sort of jumped and turned like 180 degrees. So it was about, it was about here. Not this machine, of course, but it was spinning flat out, and it turned like this, knocked the trough, knocked all these tiles off the wall and everything, and ended up, you know, standing out here somewhere. And um, so here's some footage of when it, when it first happened. Yeah, luckily the owner was home when it happened, so they could turn the water off, and you know, even the control panel ended up in the in the passageway. It was, it was yeah, a bit a bit crazy. So um, that's what's brought it on. So. Today you can see, you know, see the tiles are all broken. This is loose. Um, so what we're going to do is, is take the trough out because you can see inside too. It's a, it's a bit rusty and stuff as well. So we'll get rid of these taps, bring those, um, you know, lower them down there so we can connect onto them later with a mixer. Put a nice sort of, I think, the, the butler's, butler's trough in there and probably get rid of these washing machine taps as well and just pop them in uh, under the cupboard so it's going to look all, all nice and clean. Floor tiles are coming up too. These are incredibly slippery. So um, get something that, that's a bit more, um, you know, a bit more grippy for, you know, the kids and stuff. Okay, stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Thanks. G'day, guys. Just an update on the uh, laundry renovation that we're in the, uh, in the middle of. Um, so they've kept the existing cupboard here, which, you know, is rare. it was a great, great one here with little drawers and stuff. And, and then what's going here is, a, um, is like a, one of those butler sinks. So they just got one from Bunnings that sits in it. Good for the kids because they can rest up harder against it. Uh, got a new tap going in here. This is a stone top, that an off piece that we managed to get cut up. And um, so there's a panel that goes on the front here after the, you know, before the sink goes, or yeah, just before the sink goes in, we'll, we'll stick that in. Got the new um, location for the hot and cold taps here and then also the washing machine down there so before if you remember they came out of the wall here and so we've, we've lowered them into the cupboard so now we can have a nice um, flick mixer on there and these were the existing washing machine taps were then and um, so we've removed that out so all this is going to be all nicely tiled um, and you know new tiles are the fridges um, will sort of sit on this way and the, and the washing um, thing so here's the um, these are the tiles that they've uh, chosen here, I'll just show you that. So they're gonna go on the floor. So that's gonna look quite good, quite dark, and they're pretty grippy as well. And then um, then they're just, for the back here, they're just gonna go like these um, subway tiles, you know, in half bond, which uh, means that like, um, you know, like, like bricklayers, you know, they lay them out like that. So that'll, yeah, look look fantastic once it's all, all installed there, but anyway. Dusty work, but we'll keep chugging along. G'day guys. Okay, so butler sinks, farmhouse sinks, they're all the rage at the moment. They're really good because you can, you know, the kids can wash their hands, be really close and stuff, washing babies or whatever, that sort of stuff. This one here is the Has Sen from Ikea, which is H-A-V-S-E-N or something like that. Um, they're a brand new sink, like 350 bucks or something, so pretty good value. The other ones that you, you know, the, the top end ones are about 800 bucks. One problem that they've, uh, that, that I've found with them is that when you just come closer, you see this edge. So, you know, the front of the cupboard, you have the wood that fits up against this, okay? So you can see that and then underneath here, you can see that edge comes up and it's more or less the same. So you can't have wood because it pushes it out. So what IKEA sort of looks like they do is they just have the wood up like, up like that, but you can see this bit where it drops down. Now, I didn't, I didn't want to see that on this job. So what we've had to do is sort of shave the, the wood out like this so it all, all fits up against it. So I'll show you what I mean just here. So here's the front of the front of the cabinet, right? And that's gonna slot up under here and then right up under this edge. But we couldn't get to that edge because of the um, the wood was so thick. So what we've done is made a super thin and carved it out all the way. You can see that? So it's really thin all the way down. And then it goes to a, a good solid piece of wood, but at the front. You can't even see it, okay? The guy that knows how to do all this uh, is Give Our Mick a Ring from Park Avenue Cabinets. He's the one that sorted all this out, figured it all out. He's there just in Maddington, so a Perth company. So if you're in Perth, give him a call. He knows how to do all this and sort it out. So give me two secs, I'll chuck it in, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, it fits, which I'm happy about. Just drop, drop it down and you can see here how this, the, the, the board, the panel goes behind, which is very important so you, you don't see any gaps. And check it out underneath here, right? And I, I, what I'll do is I'll lift it up a little bit and see how it's right there. 
the bit that drops down, but that's all been showed out by Mick at Park Avenue Cabinets. And so it just fits in perfectly all the way along. Looks great on, on both sides. And uh, yeah, you can your sink, a little, little black tap. So I've just got to look up the waist. So hope that helps, guys. If you put one of these IKEA ones in, get a cabinet maker to watch this video so he can do the same thing and you can get it sorted of looking as good as this one. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. That turns into a beautiful evening and together make a beautiful life. And if you wanna see, then come along with me.